For the first time in history, Australia's official interest rate starts with a zero. The Reserve Bank today slashing rates to just 0.75%. The question now, when will the banks start to pass it on? For this group of first home buyers, it seems the planets are aligning. We said, look, uh, anything can change, anything can happen. If we don't act now, you know, we might miss our chance. They're all buying new homes in the Ed Square development at Edmondson Park. Construction of 184 townhomes started today with a special ceremony, just as interest rates hit yet another low, adding confidence to their decision to buy. It's good to know that, that it's something that we're going to to hopefully benefit from. When we looked at how much we would be paying in rent versus then owning a place like this, it ended up being pretty much the same. While it's been a tough time for many developers, Ed Square has been popular with 300 sales in 12 months, mainly because it's a community built around a train station and new town centre. Low rates haven't hurt. Interest rate reductions are certainly making it more accessible for purchasers. Um, but purchasers also want to know that there's confidence in the economy and their confidence in the projects they're buying into. There seems to be more optimism around housing right now anyway, with the biggest lift in home prices nationally in two and a half years. And that's driven by 3.3% growth in Sydney alone in the past two months. There does seem to be some increasing urgency amongst buyers as they're starting to compete a little bit more for quite a shallow pool of stock. Despite that, today's rate cut is driven by concerns about the economy, rising unemployment and stubbornly low wages growth, leading economists to believe there are more cuts to come. But... There's certainly a risk here that uh, the Reserve Bank is running out of interest rate bullets uh, and we've seen in other countries that that can be a problem. Eddie Meyer, Nine News. Well, Nine's finance editor, Ross Greenwood, is in the city for us. Ross, when will the banks pass on these cuts? Well, I can tell you that I've just heard in the last couple of minutes that Australia's largest home lender, the Commonwealth Bank, is going to pass on a rate cut, but its customers might be disappointed. For those with standard owner-occupier home loans, the bank will barely pass on half of the Reserve Bank's cut today. So rather than 0.25% they might have been expecting, those people, the people with most home loans in Australia, will get just 0.13%. Now, Mark, it's time for the other banks to come clean and figure out how much they'll pass on. OK, Ross, thank you.